Hello everyone, and welcome to my keyboard, I guess. So this is going to be quite the different video than usual. I made a sort of, sort of challenge in my head when I was laying down, and I was like, why not? I haven't recorded a video in like two weeks. I tried to record this before, but then it messed up. So this is going to be attempt number two. So this is going to be the setup. You have the keyboard here in the bottom left, and then the gameplay. This is very important to the rules of the challenge. So I'm going to be playing World of Warcraft with only my mouse. That's it. I'm going to have to press all my skills with my mouse, move around with my mouse, and everything like that. So it's definitely going to be interesting. I'm not sure how it's gonna go at all. <laughs> so, um, the only button I'm allowing myself to press is alt-tabbing to check on the recording and also to press control, which is my push-to-talk button, as you guys know if you've watched my Dragon Age series and everything like that. So I guess let's begin. I have no idea what I want to create. <laughs> I kind of made a rule for myself when I was planning this of, like, I can't use, like, a caster. So something like a mage, priest, warlock, anything like that, because I feel like that's kind of cheating. I'm going to be pressing one button every two seconds. But if I play, even like a hunter could work, but I don't want to play something that I already have leveled. Like, I've played all the specs of hunter. Except for survival, though, but I'm leveling one right now. I could do... I'm not gonna do monk, because that monk is my main. I'm not a big fan of paladin, oddly, even though it's like one of the biggest classes. Maybe I can do a rogue, then. I do have a rogue, I have Zill here, but I've only played Outlaw on her in a little bit of assassination. And almost every single thing can be a rogue except a Draenei and Torrent. I almost feel like a Dark Iron Dwarf would be really cool as a rogue. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. So when I make characters, I usually start by like putting everything to like the first color and stuff like that. Cause then it just gets everything off of them, like tattoos and piercings and everything. I always feel like none of the hair colors really go well with, like, the skin tones at all. And all the faces are just, like, the normal dwarf faces just recolored. The Fire Maiden is definitely my favorite hairstyle for these guys. I actually really like that. I don't think I'll do any piercings, though. Now... Oh, no. I didn't even think about how I'm supposed to name her. Um... 
I guess we're gonna randomize the name. Oh, one of my favorite parts is like naming them too. <laughs> I guess, let's see what weird name this comes up with. I feel like Umina could work. Yeah, we'll go with that. So this is what we will be suffering with. <laughs> And I can't even skip the intro scene either. <laughs> well, I guess we're watching it. <laughs> okay, so now we have to set up all of our bars. I don't even know how to get the menu to pop up. I'm used to like all the different <laughs> like key binds, like escape. So I've played Outlaw, so I'm not gonna make an Outlaw. Maybe we can go Assassination? But I also have like no idea how to play Subtlety, and I've heard that it's really hard. And we're trying to make a challenge, so... I think I'm gonna go subtlety. <laughs> so which one of these do we press? Oh, okay. <laughs> even able to change this around because I do not want any of these here. I mean I guess it doesn't really matter since we're not going to be able to press them anyway. Well, I guess we're sticking with this. That's actually a really good mastery. I've always wanted to level a Dark Iron since I unlocked them. I actually accidentally unlocked them when I was on my dwarf. I got brought into a quest line and ended up doing it because I was lovely anyway. And then I unlocked them. <laughs> I definitely do want to get the rest of them too, like um especially called Tyrion. I keep forgetting I'm on full graphics and makes everything look so much better. So I'm definitely gonna go through Chromie. I don't really feel like doing BFA at all. I think I might do Cataclysm, because then we can choose to go anywhere. Oh, well, almost anywhere anyway. It's gonna be so weird having to click our speed bug.
so we can go here, or we can explore on the map and see where we're going to go to. I guess that'd be quest log. We have so many places that we can go. I've already done a lot of the Eastern Kingdoms one though. <laughs> I've leveled so many alts, I swear I've been everywhere. Maybe we can do somewhere in Kalimdor. Maybe Desolus? I've never really been here too much. And they have an alliance point. That's the problem is like, Kalimdor is like mainly Horde, while well, Eastern Kingdom is mainly Alliance, and it's so hard to get in between the two at a low level. Even at a higher level, like, to get to Eastern Kingdoms, you need to use either, like, five different portals, or you'll have to, um, take the Zeppelin. So, if we're going to Desolus, then we'll have to go to the Mage Quarter, I guess. Yeah. And I guess while we're here, we can get blacksmithing too, because I think we get a bonus to that. Yeah, okay, so increases blacksmithing by 5 and speed by 25. That's actually cool because all the other ones are like plus 5 or plus 15 skill, but not speed. I guess we would need mining too. That should be around here, I think. Oh, I didn't want to sell them. Ew, I have to <laughs> click this for my bags. And it's like individual, that's so gross. I'm not going to use heirlooms. I want to get my own gear. Guess we can choose a mount while we're here. There's so many. It's not even like so many. There's still so many more I need to get. But um... Even just like the 140 I have is like so hard to scroll through. This is what I was looking for. It's so tempting just to like reach over and press M for map. <laughs> I guess we'll need to find a guard we can talk to for mining. Oh, it's <laughs> just right here. So now we'll go down to the mage quarter and see if there's a portal I can take. Cause I, like, this place doesn't have a zeppelin like the Horde does and none of these boats take you there. I've been in Stormwind so much and I still get so lost here.
Also, sorry that I haven't recorded in so long. Like I said earlier, it's been like two weeks or something. Kind of ironic that I made a video saying of how I'm going to make a schedule for uploading and then I disappear for two weeks. But, um, yeah, just stuff happened. But, yeah, I plan on recording. I was gonna record yesterday, but like I said, the recording failed, which was so annoying. My audio ended up going through the webcam instead of my headset, and I didn't realize that it even changed. So, <laughs> the audio was lost. Also, we lost a subscriber. Like, I didn't think I'd be losing subscribers when I only have, like, six. But I was up to seven and then someone unsubscribed. And it's not like any of my subscribers even, like, watch the videos I upload anyway. <laughs> This is pretty easy so far, but we also haven't really gotten into combat either. I guess we'd have to go through the Caverns of Time. I wonder if there's like a flight point around here, because I don't think we even have any. We can check it out anyway, there's one down here. Also, we can't use map pins, it's gonna be so hard. Why do I have Winds of Wisdom? Is that like being here or something? If that's the case, then maybe I should level here instead. <laughs> or is that like a an ability that we have? Definitely not something that we have normally. Oh no, I was trying to avoid everything. Energy problems already, yay. These are way too high level. We need to get out of this place as soon as possible. I didn't even realize they're level 15. Everything around here is like 15 and 30. I hate how this flight point pins off. It says it's right here, but it's all the way over here. I 
Okay, so the nearest one we have is Black Fathom Camp. So we can either walk up or come down. I think it'd be a lot faster to come down from here. So I know that this is going to be like a 10 minute flight point because it's like across the whole continent. So I'm going to fly here and I will be right back. I changed up the keyboard to better match our flaming character. <laughs> I'm just bored trying to fill up time. We're like not even halfway there yet. Can we just appreciate how beautiful this place looks right now? The orange lighting that was back there made it look amazing. I've never been around here on like full graphics. My graphics are usually on like 3 or 5. We have almost arrived. <laughs> Ashen Vale is such a nice sound though. A lot of like the elven areas, like tell just still rest in peace. <laughs> and just any other elven areas so nice. I was hearing news that, um, like the tier of a loon might be a seed to plant another world tree. And there's theories that it might be like where Teldrassil was or some place in Dragonflight and stuff like that. Also, what's your guys' opinion of them releasing the option to buy it already? Like a pre-purchase? I feel like it's way too soon. Especially since the estimated release date's like November, that is months away. So now we get to travel all the way down to Desolus. <laughs> gonna be super sidetracked mining. It's kind of like a cheat way to level up. This is going to be quite the long journey. <laughs> Give us a quest. <laughs> Guess we'll go uh, turn that in. I'm seeing a problem that uh, we can't jump. That is not going to be fun. <laughs> I am not doing the follow-up quest. This place is actually so nice. I wish that I could like hide the um the interface, but then I don't need to press a key. We're finally making it to uh, <laughs> Stone Talon Mountains. There we go.
Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We made it to Stone Talon Mountains. This place is going to be hell. Absolute hell to navigate. Because we can't press the space bar at all. And we have to get through all this. I don't know what way we can cut through to get to Desolus at all. It looks like there's a path right here. But that means that we have to navigate all the way through here. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. <laughs> but I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'm really excited to continue this series. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye.